Okay, so today's video is gonna be entirely different than anything I've ever done before. And I wanna set sort of uh, just a, a warning out there to not try this with your own stuff that I'm a trained idiot and uh, don't, don't do this at home. But before I get too far ahead, what do you guys think of the, uh, the new setup? I think it looks pretty darn good and a lot less distracting than previous setups. But uh, let's get into today's video, shall we? What's up and welcome back everybody. My name is Original Dobo. For those who don't know who I am on this channel, I do drone and tech related content with the occasional vlog and tutorial mixed in there. So if that's at all interesting to you, you may wanna hit that subscribe button. Today I have a pretty cool video, something that's, I mean, it's been done before, just not with these two types of drones. And I decided I was going to swap the camera with the dual and the zoom to see how it was going to work in case somebody wanted to buy the FLIR camera and put it on one of their consumer drones. I just want to see. So, oh, let me get these up here. So I've got the Mavic 2 Dual, Mavic 2 Zoom. I figured that these would be the best two to sort of swap with one another just because the Zoom camera technically is already on one of the Enterprise products. And I figured, well, vice versa, it should work. But um, spoiler, it uh, it didn't work, which was a little weird, a little strange and somewhat disappointing. Um, obviously taking these apart are easy. I mean, these are just some of the easiest gimbals to work on, um, you know, past DJI models. It's really cumbersome to take apart a gimbal and even tedious, but these were really simple. I was able to take both of these cameras apart in under an hour, get them all put back together and test it. And um, you can take a look at this footage. I've sped all the way through so you can sort of see what I did. But the drones booted back up, which I thought I was like, all right, great, it's booting up. It's all gonna work. But uh, couldn't get camera to work. I kept getting an IMU error from the zoom with the dual camera connected. It actually started to download the software and then never finished. And I actually got nervous. I thought it was gonna brick the, the drone for a moment and it just never completed. And then I tried the zoom camera on the dual, vice versa wouldn't work. So I, I think what is happening here is DJI has encryption basically blocking that process from happening. I think from a, a Mavic 2 Pro to Mavic uh, 2 Zoom, it's fine to swap those cameras. But when we start dealing with these, they have a little bit different hardware because you have different storage options. And then obviously you also have encryption that's in play on these as well. So I'm pretty sure that that's the reason why it's not working. So for anybody who is thinking about buying just the camera from a FLIR system to put on your Zoom or Pro, it's not gonna work. You definitely need to have an enterprise product for it to be able to work just because the differences and the variances in the hardware are just enough to make uh, the system wig out. And I got really lucky that nothing was broken. I got a little bit nervous when I first booted up the dual for the first time because the camera was limp and the drone was on, it was connected, didn't have any signal. And then it prompted me to download firmware. And I was like, okay, let me download this, see what happens. And then as soon as the firmware started downloading, the FLIR camera came back to life and all was good. So both these cameras are working Functionally, everything is you know working as it was before. It's really super simple to take this apart and swap cameras out if need be, um, but it's just not something that's doable from consumer to commercial. So they've obviously done a good job protecting themselves in that aspect. Um, also, there there is some security glue that they mark off on. It's I think, I think it's on the top portion of the gimbal. So if you are going to take this off, just bear in mind there is security glue there. And if you take that off, you basically void it your warranty. Like the, the warranty is voided at this point. You know, so uh, it's just something to keep in mind. It, it may not be worth it in all aspects, but um, it is cool to see that it is possible to swap them. Like the hardware sort of is similar, but internally is different. I was really hoping to be able to do this and get it to work and at least at the very least swap the zoom camera onto uh, the dual because it just gives you a little bit more capability because this camera system here is very different on the dual and is 100% geared toward that commercial uh, pilot as to where this would have just it would have made it into a Mavic 2 enterprise uh, zoom which would have been perfect. Uh, but long and short of it all is don't do this. It's not going to work. I know people were sort of like, oh, it should work. It should work. 
it's not going to work. DJI has protected their hardware to prevent tampering like this, um, so ever so slightly, to just make it to where you can't swap these back and forth. So, uh, but I thought it was pretty interesting and I want to go ahead and spin up a video on this. Um, hopefully nobody tries to do this after this. Um, like I said, you can take a pro camera, put it on a zoom. You can take a zoom camera, put it on a pro. But when you go from commercial to consumer, that's where there's a barrier and some problems. But anyways, if you found this video useful or you were thinking about doing this, drop it a like or leave a comment down below. I may try it again sometime down in the future because it honestly really isn't too hard to do. And um, yeah. Anyways, guys, stay original. Uh -huh.